I've had a lot of tragedy in the past week and a half with my farm and animals. And I always tell you guys on my live that you have two choices. You can sit it out or you can dance. And today I choose to dance and I wanna show you how. trip today it's not a big field trip it's a kind of small field trip I think there's like 15 um, so I thought I would carry you with me because today I'm gonna have a smile on my face even though my heart is kind of crushing on the inside from all the loss that I've had over the past week and a half but just like you that work you can't go to work sad right and you've got to make a difference and I could sit here and I could choose to just swallow my sorrows and be sad, feel alone, but I'm not going to do that today and I hope to make a difference. The field trip is supposed to be here at nine o'clock, so I've got to rush around and let chickens out, let animals out, check on everyone and get my day started. I have to say having this farm has helped me dance every single day. It has totally changed my life. Many a times we go into through life and we're trying to find our purpose and what we're good at and so forth. And it's taken me 50 years to figure out that farm animals and having a farm is something that is very healthy and good for me. The main reason is because it causes distraction in my life. Um, it helps me stay out of other people's business and only only stay in my own lane. And I don't even know if that makes sense to you guys. Often I find myself, cause I'm a fixer, right? I like to fix it and I think I can fix people, right? No, no, <laughs> I've had to learn the hard way that the only person I can fix is myself. This is Ace. Ace has a twin brother that looks just like him, and his name is Billy. Billy's been down and out, right? I showed you guys the last video. And so I had a school contact me today that they want to do two incubation projects with me. And I'm like, oh, my rooster's sick, what am I gonna do? And then I thought, oh, Ace is gonna get about eight new girlfriends today because he's already breeding. So he's gonna take over the coop while Billy is recuperating. Okay, Billy, let me introduce you to your girlfriends, all right? Here they are, and they're molting and they look terrible. They're losing their feathers because they're getting their winter coat in because the <laughs> weather has cooled off. But look at that girl, honey. I'm giving you some good girlfriends. Yes, I am. All right, go play. See what you think, look at him. Ooh, look at those girls. <laughs> oh, he's going to be so excited. So I breed this pen and then my other Polish pen and I use those for the eggs for incubation projects for kids to learn the um, cycle, the life cycle of a chick and how they're developed and they get to learn all that. So I'm going to have to collect eggs the 1st of September because I'm going into the school on September the 13th to read to the kids and talk to the kids about my animals and how they live together without fences and how um, they all get along and also the life cycle of a chick. In order to prepare for a field trip, I had go around and of course let all the animals out, but it's important for me to stay clean, right? Because nobody wants to come to a nasty 
gross farm with the waters looking terrible with mold. <laughs> so I work really hard to try to keep everything clean because I want to give the impression to kids, I want them to understand how to take care of an animal properly. And one thing that people don't understand with farm animals is it's a commitment. And so I like to talk to kids about having a farm and all the commitment that's involved with it. It's been a while since I've gotten a kiss. Hey, normally my field trips start at 10 o'clock but today they has to come at nine o'clock and buddy, they are giving me a run for my money because I have to do all these farm chores before they get here. And sometimes it can be difficult. Let's talk about the water trough. It is a pain in the butt. Let me show you why. Look at this. Now this is like two days. And I have to dump it out and scrub it out every two days. And let me tell you why. I'll tell you why. Cinco <laughs> likes to stand in the middle of this. And a lot of times the ducks want to get in here and swim. And I'm like, it is like a constant struggle. So today I'm cleaning it out and I've got um, about 30 minutes before the bus is pulling in the driveway. So I gotta get this thing scrubbed out. I'm having trouble finding the scrub brush that I scrubbed the water trough with. I know Shane was out here earlier using it and I have no idea what he did with it. So I might be scrubbing this with my hand because I don't have enough time to run all the way to the house to get a scrub brush and get back before 10 minutes. Oh, yay. I just found it. Scrubbed it out. Shane has made my life so much easier. And I can't remember what you call this thing, but it's basically a water thing that water that, that fills up the water and then when it's the top, it stops. I forgot what it's called. But maybe using that to fill this up, I won't have a $260 water bill like I did last month for leaving the water on for 12 hours. That was smart. See? And it'll fill it up and I won't leave the water on. Yay! It's time to check on the mama hen and mama turkey hen to see if they're still doing good with the babies. Looks like she's doing well. <laughs> So sweet. Over here we have a little bit of a problem. I just looked over here and it looks like she only has one, no she has two babies. One right there, one right there. So she has lost her babies to the chicken hen. Um, I'm hoping she gets them off the nest and gives them some water and food today. But it looks like Mama Hen stole them all. So we got babies running around. So it looks like she's gonna take them outside. All right, I see the first car pulling up. So it's showtime. All right. Some of you I know follow me, but I like to tell my story just a little bit because I never dreamt of having a farm a day in my life. You know how sometimes you're scared to try something new? 
you're scared that you're not gonna be good at it or you're scared that you're gonna fail. Me too. But my husband suggested us getting chickens when we moved here and I didn't know anyone. And I was like, why do I want a chicken? And he said, well, it'll give us farm eggs. I said, I'm not eating an egg that comes out of a chicken. And he said, Judy, that makes no sense. Where do you think your eggs come from? I'm like, mine come from Walmart. Well, that day I tried something new and my life totally changed. And so I'm here to tell you that I never dreamt of y'all sitting in front of me um, having a farm, but God obviously had other plans for me. My dream was to live in the middle of New York and dance on Broadway. And here I am in Coleman, Alabama doing tours and overalls. So I wrote a story about how it started. A little red-headed girl that liked to dance and twirl. She had big dreams of being on Broadway. But life took a turn and soon she would learn to love wearing overalls and pitching hay. See, it all started when she married a man named Sneed. Together they decided that fresh farm eggs were needed. So off to the market to buy a few chickens. Judy's love for the farm life would soon quicken. that I did not get to of that's in my book. Um, the tortoise. The tortoise, because it doesn't get lonely. And the cat. The cat, because it was sneaking where my baby chicks hatch. But there's one more. I brought my grandson Eli to play. Donkey. The donkey. I didn't tell you why I didn't get two of Leroy. So today I want to share that with you. I thought I had to get two of the same thing. But Leroy taught me differently. Leroy came to the farm and he was shy and scared. And my grandson Eli was here and he said, can I go out and play with Leroy? I said, Eli, Leroy's new to the farm and he's probably not going to come up to you. He said, can I try? I said, sure. So he went out there, he kneeled down like this and Leroy began to make best friends with someone that didn't look like him, that wasn't the same color as him, that wasn't raised like him, nor had his same mannerism. And that day it changed my life and I realized that we should all be like Leroy and show kindness because I was not a farmer. So I did not know to separate your animals. And people would come to my farm and they said, Judy, how do you have your donkeys with your goats? I was like, what does that mean? They were like, donkeys kill baby goats. And I was like, they do? Mine don't. So what I began to realize, parents, if you don't teach your kids to discriminate, they won't because that's what happened in my farm and so um, when you go out there you're gonna notice that the animal the big animals are not well let me back up just a minute she she and Freddie are separated right now because we are over having piglets so I have to separate them but normal situations they're all out roaming together and they all look totally different but they all get along 
So today when you go out there, I hope that you make best friends with one of my animals. And I want you to tell me how you became good friends with my animals. Are y'all ready to go see them? Hey, I'm allergic to Coleman and Dairy. He's so puffy you can't even feel his Ray. feathers. You want to touch it? Oh, no, it first, but she won't you got to hold the wings. How soft. Hold the wings. There you go. Be real gentle. Yeah, <laughs> Little sister dropped it. Oh, no. You got to hold it tight so you don't drop it. They're not too tight. You know what? I do not have a name for her, and I need you to name it. You are the first person that has ever held her. Wow. She's a young turkey. What do you think we should name her? Nate, what did you go name her? How about naming her after you? What's your full name? Uh, Nathaniel. Okay. Natalie. 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 That's a good name. Natalie. 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 What is this? Oh. Um, you know what I'm going to make with that? What? So let me show you what I'm going to make with that. I'll let it go. I'm going to turn this into a chicken swing. And I'm going to let my chicken swing on it. Don't chase them. Don't chase them. You name him Pedro, but... You want to show me your trick? Huh? That's hound dog. Can we ride the donkey? We can't ride the donkey. That's tater bug. If you tell him to give you a kiss, tell him to don't yell, don't yell. Tell him to give you a kiss. He's trying to give you a kiss. I can hold this. Sometimes when doing field trips, you have those kids that go, "What's next? Do you have any more animals? Is this all you have? What what's next?" And they get real excited and they're rushing through my tour, and this is how I handle that. Okay, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go make best friends with one animal. Sometimes if you're really soft and sing them a song and be real gentle, like Ruger, go, if you, yes, that's Ruger. Oh, he's super sweet. Go see if you can like get him to come up to you and let him kiss you. Or or uh, hug him or something. Okay, go try that. Okay, so this is Mama over here. That's Daddy. That's Daddy. That's the Daddy. See, I told you he'd be best friends if you give him leaves. Okay, who did you make best friends with? The don the Len Leonard, right? That's his Leroy. Leroy. Because he, I was the cat got inside of the here and then. I saw him just chasing the cat. Uh -huh. He went outside the fence, and then when I, whenever I try to get close to the cat, he was just like going Aww. in front of me. Like, so, like do you remember me, me in the story then, talking like, about Leroy? Yeah. And that Leroy lives by himself. There's no other one like him. Yeah. And you see how he's making friends with everyone in the farm, and he don't have to be with people that look like him. Yeah. Isn't that pretty so special? Cute. Yeah. I think so. Giving him kisses. I told you, Tate will give you kisses. Do you want me to help you? I'll help you. No, he's not. He's trying to go to my booty. No! 
formula. Y'all can pet them because they need formula. to learn trust, but just don't pick them up because they're scared. Uh, oh, he's scared. Do you have more animals? He's cute. Do you have more animals? I have my siblings at home. Um, my tortoise is three years old. Ah, he's jumping. Yeah, but our tortoise no, is like going to be small. Tiny. I wanted to hold a bunny, but nobody gives it to me. Can I hold a bunny? Hang on. I mean, like, what do I call it you? Looks just like it. Like, so I don't call you. Like it, so I don't just... No! Do you, want, do you want her to hand you the bunny? Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys see it. And wait your turn. I have not that bunny. It was a successful field trip. And I hope as you can see through this video is sometimes when you feel all sad and lonely and all those emotions go through you inside because you may have had a death in the family or lost an animal. When you go out and dance and make a difference in someone else's life, suddenly you begin to feel the joy that's all around you and your sadness suddenly escapes you. So today, when you get the choice to sit it out or dance, I so hope you dance. Hey, I have a question to ask you. First of all, are those flowers good? <laughs> I mean, really? You, you like love them, but I, I do have a question. I wanna know what it feels like when you go inside that, that shell. Does it feel like you feel safe? Like, what does it feel like? Hmm? Here comes the kitty kitty. Kiki's coming to see you. Here you go, buddy. Here's another one. Eat your supper. Go on. Good boy. That's a good boy, Queso. Is it good? Oh. <gasps> You gonna eat every one of them, you big old pig? I'm gonna put you in the pig pen. You eat with all of them. <laughs>